We're Trevor and Caroline. We decided that in 2024, we would give up our full-time jobs, pack up our trusty Colorado and Jayco Crosstrack, and head off. With no fixed plan other than to work when it was available and avoid big cities, we said goodbye to family and friends and headed off. Join us as we roam over this beautiful country. rocks along the way. It's our nice campsite for a couple of days down on the old Stewart Highway. Right next to a river that escapes my memory at the moment. But we shall we shall have a look. We nearly joined the prestigious cross track club with the bent steps coming in here. I don't know if the video you took will do it justice. Hang on, I'll just try and make sure I don't tread in the crocodile. Now <laughs> The wiki camps gives you that you can swim here and there are crocodiles here, so well, I'm guessing that means freshwater crocs. Well, I said the truck, I'm going to go down and swim, do you want to take the GoPro watch so you can see me get taken? And she quite happily said, yes, I'll come down.
that's where we came through yesterday and uh, it got a little bit deep and uh, we helped everybody else out who followed us because that's where our back end dug it out This is the Edith River, north of Catherine. Lovely little campsite down on the on the old Stuart Highway. Short little drive from the campground there on uh, Old Sturt Highway at Edith River to Robbins Falls up near Adelaide River. Um, we don't mean to brag, and we'll possibly regret it if we get eaten by a crocodile. Turn and face the camera, darling. There's a happy couple, and there's the, the river behind us. It's not very deep, we can see the bottom. Might put a toe in. And, um, yeah, so this is our little campsite. Unfortunately, I didn't plug the uh, the Anderson plug in properly on the on the car this morning, so we didn't recharge the batteries. We were down to seventy percent last this morning, and we're still there. So at the moment, we're pulling in sixteen amps in the, the little bit of sunlight we've got. So it'll be depending on how much light we can get back into the batteries to how long we stay here, whether it's just one day or a couple of days. It's a nice little spot. There's a lot of people around here. As of uh, most of the places around the Territory at the moment, the bins are all full. Mm. They're not over full as much as normal. But, uh, we won't be adding to it. We won't add to it. We've still got the rubbish in the back of the car from Edith River and we don't generate that much. I stopped off at the uh, bottle shop at Adelaide River and asked if they had cider. And the look I got from the big Territorian there was, what the f is cider? I said, oh, get us a Great Northern, a box of Great Northern. Yeah, we got that. I don't know if the water's deep enough to put the cherubin trap in. But it is very spectacular. Old Chook's gone down there to see if she can get eaten. You've got parking areas um, on the other side of the track in that are in the sun. Uh, they just, you know, we thought if we could get one on the beach, or on the the the, uh, the creek, we would do so. We shall see.
coolest bloody paper barks I've ever seen. Yeah. Still no snakes. Going for a nice little walk down to Robin Fall, and for once it's not me saying it's a little walk, it's wiki camps. So if it's wrong, somebody's not going to get mad at me. Well, well, that's what you get for believing wiki. It is a bit of a rock scramble, it is a bit of a rocky walk right alongside the, the creek. Look at them all. Mm. Got a butterfly central. The track's fairly rough in places. Yeah. Not uh, not overly rough, but yeah, if you're coming along here and you don't do it in fongs. Miracles do happen. We get to see water in a waterfall. Yeah. Certainly worth the walk. Ferguson River campsite on our, it's my darling wife, so you can see she's still around, yep, still here. on our way back to Catherine, uh, we're only about 60 k's out of Catherine, uh, hopefully we'll stay here tonight, tomorrow night, campsite itself is not really impressive, but we do have a river full of water behind us and we're hoping full of uh, cherubin but as we've failed miserably so far <laughs> here we'll go. when we got here some thoughtful soul had left us their fire uh, we're gonna go down and get get some uh, get some water out of the river and put that out so yeah, we're right on the edge of the track coming down here. Should we go down and check the trap, sweetie? We should. We've got sausages out, so we're not going to start. Yeah. My prowess with fishing line or fishing net is that well known that we've already got sausages out for tea. Uh, not as idyllic 
is the last two sites. It's still better than a truck bay. Uh, I've put the drone up so you'll be able to see just how much water, but what there is here is um is nice. Mm. Well, that had to be the warmest night, and this will be the warmest morning uh, I've had since I left the Pilbara uh, in January uh, this year. The uh, uh, Sirocco fans, or mine, ran all night. Uh, Caroline's, I timed it for six hours. Um, but yeah, the big fluffy blanket we brought at. Uh, Lee Creek uh, after the uh, Flinders well we uh, folded that up and left it at a caravan park um, where people leave stuff they no longer need old Chook's Woody uh, that got left at another caravan park and we're possibly going to put the quilt cover under the bed soon and just have the sheet we'll see A beautiful morning once again, my ability, my ability to catch cherubim has been proven ineffective. I didn't even catch any fish today. I caught a couple of fish last night when we checked it, and. The only consolation was I had a sneaky check <clears throat> of Caroline's net and it also had nothing in it so at least I won't have to clean and prepare her catch for her to eat today. I'm going to sit down and enjoy a lovely coffee and wait for the world to wake up. So not only is there a big hole, but the rocks are quite sharp. So we'll see how we go. Come on, Neville. Catherine, all the trees are full of bats. Welcome to Catherine. Welcome to Casa del Trelaw. So this is going to be a home for the next... Manbulu. Who? Manbulu. This is, we're at the Manbulu um, Caravan Park, out of town. This is going to be our home 
until at least December and uh, we shall see where we go from here so, they're going to possibly move us down onto one of these sites later when they become available they're more permanent sites so, so yeah this is it's lovely and green and quiet uh, so we went down and we were going to get Red Rooster if you followed us for a while you know we have a thing for Red Rooster that can't be it scratched an itch that cannot be scratched anyway we went to Red Rooster in Catherine and they said oh if you want to wait 45 minutes for the chicken uh, otherwise you've got fried chicken and uh, you don't go to Red Rooster for fried chicken. So we sold our souls and went to Macca's. We'll pay for it later. And then we followed the Macca's up with uh, a Whippy ice cream, Mr. Whippy ice cream. I heard the distinct dulcet tones of green sleeves and Caroline, realising that she still had one child at home, uh, went and brought me an ice cream. She's a lovely woman. So, our travel videos will stop for a while, but we're going to still try and do um, videos as we explore around Catherine and, and we'll do day trips here and there. So, hopefully, you'll, you people will keep watching. <laughs>